All right, got myself a new present today. Let's go get it. Let's go open it. All right, well I went down and uh, picked up this, which uh, is a gurney, a uh, high pressure washer. So uh, it's a Ryobi uh, 2200 PSI, Ryobi something or other. I don't know. Anyway, it's a high pressure washer. Check out this picture on the back though. Okay, right here is a picture of a lady using the machine. Are they stating that this machine is so easy, even a woman can use it? How dare you! Here goes the hate comments now. <laughs> she might not be a woman. She might be transgender. God knows. Uh, I'm just a sweet transvestite! Actually, if you have a look at her face, she kind of looks like a Karen. You right here, right now? They better all hear it. Any profanity? No. You laugh? You laugh? Any profanity comes out of any of y'all's mouths. There is a rule that says no profanity. There's a city policeman sitting right over there. And I will take any one of y'all to him and y'all will go to juvenile court. Tape record it, put it on YouTube, put it wherever you'd like. If you don't know what a Karen is, go on YouTube and search up Karen freakouts or whatever. Looks like a Karen. Alright then, let's get her open and have a look and see what's inside. Eh. I can't remember how to use this. Anyway. Okay, well first up, obviously you get the manual, which I'm assuming will be in English. Um, a scrubber that gets used obviously on the, the concrete, apart from the high pressure washer, you use a scrubber. Scrubber, such a scrubber. So obviously that's what gets the waters, the water. Some sort of attachment, I guess I'll find out. And yeah, the scrubber. Okay, well in the box, in the box. Oh, well, obviously the main, the main unit. Get all this plastic crap off. This is the main unit. I like the idea of this, that it pulls out with a hose. The last one I used to have, it didn't have a windy thing, so that's really cool. In the back here, there's a soap dispenser. So for washing the car, Whatever, you've got a soap dispenser on here. Okay. Got all these other attachments. Obviously this is, I'm going to assume, the gun. What do I need to read instructions for? Alright. The gun. Obviously this connects to something that I will find out. Uh, what do we got here? 
other nozzle parts. This is probably for to go. Yeah, this opens and closes. Have a look on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, but it opens and closes for um, like you know, spreads the water or narrows it down for a really high pressure wash. I don't know what the hell that come on, what that one's for. Oh god, there's like a this must be for really high pressure. It's like a uh, the size of a needle. It's pretty small. Uh, more attachments. That are falling out. Okay, this obviously gets hooked onto this so you can spin it and all that sort of thing. Alright, let's put this thing together somehow. Alright, well, before we actually put this thing uh, together, two days ago I did a little bit of filming with what's going on with my birds in the backyard. So uh, check this out, I've got nests everywhere. Um, check it out, and we'll come back to this. So I know it's dark, but uh, I've been working in the garden all day and putting in some uh, water features. I'm having a couple of beers, and I come out here, and even though if there's other nests, I just happen to notice um, another bird just flew up. These birds making yet another nest. They were there last year, and they're back again this year. So I thought, ah, grab the camera, why not? But man, I... I get nests everywhere in the this time of year. I get nests everywhere throughout the backyard, and the birds are never ever bothered by me. So I oh know they must feel safe here. So I think it's really really cool. But I've never had two nests in my jasmine. One on one side and another nest at the other side. Plus one right above my head. Like that's crazy. All right, it's gonna fly into my jasmine. It's only hesitated because I've moved. Where are we? Here we are. These are the same birds that were here last year. Come on, where are ya? Ignore the Conway Twitty music in the background. But they nest here every year. Up it goes. Now, it's not just that one. The other side of the jasmine... Oh, what's going on? The other side of the jasmine, I have a nest. And I had another bird. Oh, the other one just took off. Where is he? Where did he go? That one has a nest on the other side of the jasmine. And I have a baby bird, believe it or not, inside this plant. I'll get up a bit closer and I'll show you. Baby birds in there. I have nothing but birds that always nest in my backyard constantly all right better to see because this one decides it's sleeping or waiting for its mum to come back but we have a baby bird inside my pot plant there we go normally sticks its head up has a bit of a look around I oh, know birds just love nesting in my backyard it's crazy Wait. This one's wondering, what am I doing? Because I'm interrupting it by bringing a camera out. Waiting for me to move, no doubt. How much crap can it possibly get in its mouth? It's Jasper. I didn't know that were the words. You're just as ugly as you used to be. Oh, Jasper, what? That's lovely. Oh, I thought he said ugly. <laughs> <laughs> You're just as ugly as you used to be. Jasper, stop licking my fucking leg. Okay, I didn't realize the camera wasn't on, but 
uh, the handle here, it just slotted in there. No, like up here, so it just slotted in there to make this thing spin. So that part was easy. Next part is this little doohickey thing here. All right, and on the same uh, side, you got this little doohickey thing here. Not sure what it's for. I guess we'll find out. This little slot thing there. And if I can get it, just slots in there. And you got the other side. Another, oops, hello, another doohickey thing, which I think is just to hold the, the nozzle or whatever. Just slides in down there on this side. That's that so far. Uh, okay, now on the back where the, um, you plug the hose in, take that cap out. Obviously, there's another little cappy thing in there. Just gotta pull out. And then this thing just screws on there just so you can plug your hose in. All right, and then the side here, there's obviously the hose that comes, the water would come out of here. Go in here, so just screw that on. Alright, so that's right in here, and on the front, down here, there's another little cap, so you take the cap out somehow. Alright, so I just took the cap off. There. And I'll stand it back up. Same thing, that goes in there. Score on, so it's a tight fit. Get there in a minute. Okay, we're gonna tie fit. Oh, we are getting there. We're getting there. All right, now that's securely locked in there. What we're gonna do? I hope I'm doing this right. Plugs in. Give her a screw, and the gun is attached to this. Beautiful. That little trigger thing here at the on the side as I slid in that's just to wrap your extension lead around so that's all cool a couple little holes here obviously that's for storage for these so it sits in there it sits in there in there all right now plug the power in I'll get the hose plug the hose in and let's hope well let's have I've connected things right all right up next with the gun I'm going to use this nozzle, the one that I showed you that spreads and goes smaller. Uh, where are we? It just goes in. Is that it? No. It'll lock in somehow. Come on, you bitch. Ah. Right. She's locked in. Alright, so I'll shove me hose in there. In. Now I know you gotta like prime it first, so run water through it before actually turning the power on. So I'll do that. I'll turn the hose on. And oh good. We'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing blows up. She's ready to go. Alright, she's all good. I'm not even getting too close to the concrete here. This thing's got some bloody balls in it. I can already see the gunk coming up, so we'll zoom in.
All right, we might try out the uh, other um, fixtures and see what they look like. So I don't know, we'll pick them up. This one that's got the pinhole thing on it, so we'll see what the hell this thing does. Actually, I like I like this one because it hits it hard. It's very, very uh, pinholey in there, but it actually covers a, a wider, bit of a wider area. So that was good. Uh, see what this one does. I think this one might be the soaker. You see how big the hole is on the inside there. I think this might be the soaker. So if you're going to wash a car or something, rather like that. So that one's a soaker. As I said, like you got the soap dispenser in the back. So that one's obviously just to soak up and soap up your car. And yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool for that, but you wouldn't use it for anything else. All right, quite, quite clearly this doohickey thing that I was looking at before that bends like this. Eh. The way the holes are, obviously it goes in there like that. Come on. Put this in it and tighten it somehow. I'll get there in a second. Okay, just snapped in. I'm just tightening it now. All right. Let's see what this thing does. I'm going to use, I assume it's the one with the big end here. Alright, so that, that went in. Hmm. You think this would be a bit longer unless I'm doing something wrong? As you can see that actually works well but it does use a lot of water um, I'd probably be best off for the high pressure thing it might come in useful for certain other things but uh, I think for a long hair that sort of uh, needle nose or that needle um, pin thing might be the better way to go I think all right it's probably hard to tell on the camera but uh, this is doing a fantastic job it just shows how much grit and grime was on here. I mean, I did this, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago with the other one I had, but that was a piece of junk. Um, I have seen before people um, talking about different, uh, you know, water pressure washer things and ding dangs, whatever. Um, they all, everyone always said, don't even bother to get one under 2000 watts because uh, you'd be disappointed. And they're right because the other one I've got would not be 2000 or what is it? 2200 psi's this is effortless this really is effortless but i'll have a look i'll show you when we're done but i can just see how, how bad the concrete is the front's going to take me ages to do all right so yeah this is it at the moment um how bad the concrete is well as it turns out it's how bad it is it's kind of that's kind of gross we'll have a look when i'm done well, I'm finished, and I reckon it's done an awesome job. There was so much, I mean, the concrete's friggin' old as hell. But there was that much bloody goop, grime, and crap on there. I was amazed how much blew off. Well, after that, uh, this did an awesome job. I think I now have a new best friend. Uh, doing this out the front, which I'm not gonna do today, that's gonna take hours, because this, this took a little while to do this is not is only a small amount <laughs> about the front 
you've seen it at the front, it's huge. But anyway, I deserve this. The old carbon draft. So yeah, I deserve that beer after this. Alright, well that's it. I highly recommend one of these. Uh, I will say this though, the nozzle I was using, I was using the pinpoint nozzle. Do not use that if you're going to wash your car with it. Don't use that because while I could see this thing doing, it will just tear the paint straight off your car. So don't use that. You know, there are other nozzles here in the back which are more suited. Probably that one that, you know, spread the water and brought it would be more appropriate for a car. But the uh, pinpoint nozzle I was using, don't use it on the car unless you want to paint strip the car. Anyway, guys, catch you in the next video. Cheers. See you next time. Bye, guys.